Hello, I am Nainika Sen, an 11th grader from Bilabong High International School. One of my subjects in school is environmental science and one of the most popular topics in the subject is climate change. Now, climate change refers to long-term shifts in temperatures and weather patterns. These shifts may be natural, but since the 1800s, human activities have been the main driver of climate change, primarily due to burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, gas, which produce heat-trapping gases. Climate change encompasses global warming, but refers to a broader range of changes that are happening to our planet, including rising sea levels. These shifts may be natural, such as through variations in the solar cycle, etc. As we know, every problem requires a solution, and our school has taken initiatives to raise awareness among students. The first initiative that was taken was in the start of the year, when they had announced a poster making competition, all related to the, to the topic of sustaining environment. Now, each grade was given a different topic, but all were based on the same objective, which was sustaining environment and going green. The students of grade 11 and 12 were given the topic green lifestyle. And these are some of the posters made by 11th graders for the, that competition. These were pinned up on the softboard in the hallway so the students walking by can look at these and feel inspired and take inspiration to going green themselves. The next initiative was taken by the EVS students of grade 11. A poster on global warming you say, but how to make it interesting? Add jumbled words to it. The words that you see on the leaves here are all jumbled up but related to the environment in some way and the task given to the students was to jot them down and unscramble them on the chart paper beside it. Many of them were quick to solve it, while many of them had to think. Some knew all the words and what they meant and what kind of effect they had on the environment, while some had to do their own research. This raised awareness, increased knowledge and broadened the horizons of students. The next initiative was also taken by the EVA students of grade 11, wherein on paper bag day, we had made paper bags out of only newspapers and no other materials. And each paper bag has a quote written on it related to sustaining the environment, planting trees and going green. These were also stuck on the softboard in the hallways along with all the other charts. Now, one of the steps towards the prevention of climate change is starting from our own surroundings. My personal favorite activity was the one lots of activity of tree plantation where we planted hibiscus, money plants, aloe vera, tulsi, cactus and so many more plants in our school's own biology lab. Apart from its usual benefits like air purification and natural air conditioning, it also provided ease in studying of the biology students. Their environment for study had completely changed for the better. This activity was praised by our principal and also loved by all the students. As much as it was fun, it was also incredibly educational and inspirational for all of us. This had made the biology lab look much greener and more pure than it ever looked and it had helped the students highly. Another step taken by our school is the start of single-use plastic. There are not only banners all around the school, but it has also been implemented. For example, the chairs and tables in each classroom are reused each year so as to not waste the plastic. This way, our school is taking steps to make students aware of climate change and also help prevent it in some way. We hope that from this, many schools will also take inspiration and uh, find their own solutions to climate change and help prevent it. Thank you.